Hey, I'm going to be filming a new kind of video, and this is the first video in my new series called Dell's Delights. And basically, this series I'm going to be doing a bunch of like baking and cooking videos. But for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this frozen strawberry crunch, and this is so delicious, and it's really really easy to make, and it's awesome for the spring and summertime because it's like really cold, and yeah, <laughs> it's really cold. <laughs> But, but I think it is delicious, so if you want to know how to make it, keep watching. First, you'll need one half cup flour, one half cup sugar, one half cup freshly chopped strawberries, one cup heavy whipping cream, four ounces of cream cheese, six tablespoons of melted but butter, one third cup brown sugar, and two egg whites. I also forgot to mention that you will need one box of Nature Valley granola bars or one and a half cup of granola. First I'm just going on to Spotify and putting on my favorite music because I love listening to music while I bake or cook. So I'm just going to my favorites playlist which I will link down below. First you want to chop up all your strawberries and I chopped mine really big so I would suggest slicing yours really really thin so it'll lay better in the mix and it'll just like look a lot better because mine were huge. There's my granola. So first you want to put in your granola and then your flour and brown sugar and also your melted butter and make sure to melt it and not soften it. Then you just want to mix that for a couple minutes just until it is crumbly because this is going to be the granola mix. Then you just want to lay out a pan and put on some parchment paper, I think that's how you pronounce it. And then just spread out your granola mix into a 8 by inch square. Yeah, that's a square. 8 by inch square so it'll just be easier to put into your pan and as you can see this is kind of hard I was struggling very much but just bear with it and you will eventually get it then set your oven to 350 degrees for the granola and I didn't show this but you want when the oven is done heating up you want to put the granola in for 20 minutes Then while that's in the oven, you want to make your cream cheese mix. So first separate your egg and get only the egg whites. Then you want to pour in your egg whites. and your sugar and whipping cream and then mix it for five minutes or until it's fluffy and then I just put in my whipping cream like two minutes through then you want to add in your cream cheese which I didn't show because this was speeded up and I cut off the part where I added in the cream cheese but you just want to put that in when the five minutes is up then fold in your strawberries which basically means just mix them in but don't make them mushy Then take your granola mix right out of the oven and immediately put it in the bottom of the pan because it'll get super hard if you wait like more than five minutes. So just pack it into the bottom like I guess it's like a fifth 
and then put in your cream cheese mix. And as you can see, mine was really chunky because I cut the strawberries too big. And then lay the rest of your granola on the top and yours should have more granola and it shouldn't be as chunky. So yours should look like a lot better. Mine looks very like kind of weird with like not as much granola if you know what I mean. So there's that. And then put it in the freezer for about three to five hours and you want to have it covered just so it doesn't spill. Like I said, wait to wait three to five hours or until your likings, and it should be hard, not like yogurt. And there's me taking it out. And I waited a little too long, like that's the next day, that's why I didn't show a clip of me eating it. So just make sure it's not too hard. But there is the frozen strawberry crunch. It was so delicious, and I loved it so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed and once again comment down below anything else you want me to make in this new series. It can be anywhere from like drinks to like meals to snacks to anything you guys want. And thumbs up this video if you enjoyed and send me pictures with the hashtag Dell's Delights. And check out check out my Spotify. I will link it down below because I mentioned it in this video because I love listening to music and for all my favorites videos I have like a favorites playlist. And then also check out my Instagram, and I'm making a Facebook and Twitter soon, but I, I've already made it, I just haven't really like set it up yet, so that will be coming like really soon, but I'll talk to you guys in my next video, bye! Oh, I also forgot to mention I'm going to be uploading on Fridays now, because that's just a lot better for me, and it'll give me like the whole week to edit. But this video is probably going to be up on Saturday because I'm like a little late. I've been really busy this week, especially since the end of the year is coming and the EOGs are coming and we're just doing a lot of stuff in school. So I might be a little delayed on videos for the next couple of weeks. But once it hits summer, I'm going to be uploading like maybe even twice a week and like vlogging a lot more. So yeah, I'll be uploading on Fridays now. So yeah. Later! Next is a hair accessory, and this is from American Eagle, and I showed this in a haul a while back, but I've been wearing this a lot once I wore it like five days in a row, but it's just this really pretty...